Good afternoon, Book Dragons. Today is July 18th. It is 12.09 right now. And to update you on my reading that I had mentioned last night, I did manage to finish the Backstagers. Was it called the Backstagers? I hope it was. Um, but I thought it was a very cute graphic novel. Yeah, the Backstagers Volume 1. I thought it was a very cute graphic novel. I love the diversity. I also love two specific characters that I won't be mad if they actually get together. But I also did love the story and, like, you know, in the backstage, you know, some crazy things going on. But, you know, I enjoyed it. I also did love the artwork. So, yeah, that's why I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. It was a very enjoyable one. It was hell to actually read on the phone. But after a while, I got used to it. Um, I haven't read any more from Nevernight. What I want to do is that I'm going to read 50 pages and then I'm going to switch it between um, graphic novels. I'm thinking about starting Fence or the Backstagers um, Volume 2. So we'll see how it goes with that. But that's all I wanted to say before I actually forget because sometimes I forget to um, update. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And when I get into the 50 pages or if I read a graphic novel, then I'll update you on my reading. I also did update upload um vlogs six through seven of the bionic bibliothon um we only have two more days left which is today and tomorrow so i plan on reading a little bit more and i'm also gonna try i'm gonna try and hear the audio for down among the blah 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 blah, blah. i have no idea what's the name of it um but i don't know Oh, Every Heart a Doorway, which is only roughly around four hours of audio. So I might hear that one. I might not. I don't know. I'll update you later. a little bit of a reading update i managed to accomplish another challenge which was excited but never actually picked up um and it was a graphic novel i always wanted to read um lumber james i just never picked it up because your girl broke she can't buy anything right now and i noticed that it was unscripted so i was like you know what let me read it and while i did enjoy it i'm not the target audience for it you know um, I gave it 3 out of 5 stars because while I think that it does have a lot of potential and it is a really good female empowering story and also the friendship is very very lovely. I enjoyed those two aspects of it. You know that no matter if you're a tomboy or woman, um, you know, you can be strong. You know that empowerment, that femininity was very beautifully shown in the book. So that's something that I have to praise it for. But like there was too much going on. There are so many supernatural beings that were being introduced into each segment of the volume and I was just like, um, are they going to get resolved? Is it, you know, something that's going to be for the development within the story? Um, I don't know because it never mentioned anything and it's like um, we kept on getting a supernatural being and another supernatural being. Um, um, puzzles and caves and whatnot, but nothing was really resolved and then there was a cliffhanger which it closed off on. So... While I think it has potential, there's a lot going on. Um, am I going to continue? Yeah, because it's on script, it's there, it's basically free. So yeah, I'm going to continue with the volume just to see where is it that they lead to. But I really did enjoy the graphic and I also enjoyed the female characters. They were all great. There was one that was really out there, but I really did enjoy them. You know, it was, it was, a, really, it was a really fun read. You know, it was entertaining. So yeah, um, I also managed to read up to page... 100 of Nevernight. I'm gonna call it quits for Nevernight right now because like my brain hurts and while I am enjoying What's happening now where they're at right now like it took a while for them to get there But I'm enjoying where they're at right now. So I can't wait to see what else is it that happens But like it's so much. I don't know why but this is taking out a lot of me and this never happens to me in fantasy like it's the genre that I love to read and also sci-fi and I've never felt this mentally exhausted reading a book but I'm gonna continue I'm gonna continue I'm 100 pages in and I'm invested 
and I already said I'm not going to DNF it so yeah um, that's all I wanted to say right now um, I do want to watch a movie because like I want to take a break from reading for a bit and I'm just gonna watch a movie which one I have no idea I'm gonna watch maybe one or two YouTube videos and then I'm just gonna put on a movie and just watch that I might read a graphic novel again so I'll update you later which one is it that I pick up or if I pick up the audio of I don't remember the name right now but I mentioned it earlier I think so yeah I'll update you later okay good afternoon so right now it is 1 48 and it is the final day of the biennial bibliothon and I feel quite content because I was pretty productive earlier um I did clean my room and I also organized a few other things but I did manage to finish Every Harder Doorway by Seanan McGuire and I gave that two out of five stars while I think that it has potential like I really do like the premise for me it fell flat like there are so many things that are going on and I, I kind of expected that like me knowing about Every Harder Doorway when I went into it I what I knew from it was that um, these children that have stumbled onto these fairy tale esque worlds um, were now back in reality. So they also had to go to the school where I assumed that this, this school would help them cope with reality and actually, you know, help them get back into the feel of things because they aren't in these fairy tale esque worlds anymore and they have to deal with the reality in front of them now. So I thought that was what I thought that that was what. <laughs> what? I thought that that was what was going to happen throughout the entire story or the novella but it's far from that. I think that while it being a novella it's really short which I think that also hindered my experience for the story because I think that it has so much potential for it to actually be expanded upon and also there were so many characters that were introduced that for me per se I would have liked that if these characters were going to eventually get a spin-off that they shouldn't have been mentioned in the story just let us guess as to where were they um, and what adventure were they thrusted into and then when they got their own spin-off you would be like oh wow you know we could give it like a little hint you know but I thought that like for the beginning there was so much going on that I was just like trying to catch up and it's like I'm thrusted into the middle in the middle of a, of a story and I'm just like wait I'm trying to get the feel of it slow down you know um but I don't know I also thought that there wasn't any character development because the story is so short that it doesn't just emphasize on the main character and what this main character is going through and her struggles that she's facing um which is something that did put away from the story for me and like I don't know, I, I even forgot what I was going to say, but like, introducing a murder mystery aspect to the story kind of took away from it, for me, because I was just like, whoa, where are all these murders just coming from? This is not what I had expected going into this story. So yeah, um, there are a lot of things that I think that while it does have potential, there are a lot of things that were happening that just took away from my enjoyment of it. I do have to admit that I did love the the ethnicity being woven into the story and also um, your sexuality and how is it that, you know, you visualize yourself as. So those are two aspects that I really did enjoy from the story and also when they were explaining um, a few instances where the characters were like oh i went into this world or to, to this dimension you know like keep it brief i thought that those aspects were fascinating i'm kind of contradicting myself here a bit but you know it's just what i saw and like i there wasn't any moment where i felt any real empathy for the main character because i'm a character driven reader i need to feel something for these characters and i wanted to root for her but what's the sake of you having this this um school if what you want is to basically go back into that fairy tale as well then what's the purpose of it all you know like i didn't get it i didn't feel it and i don't know i just i, I didn't like the story like let's just say that um i know i'm in the minority and you know take my review with a grain of salt because a lot of people really do love um this series and i'm gonna continue because it's on script and it's rather basically like a two hour audio if you listen to it at two times speed which is what i did um but i also think that a lot of things were rushed and they could have been, I don't know, like slow down a bit, explained a little bit more. But I will continue with the other one because it does mention Jack and Jill. I'm kind of interested to see how was it that they ended up in this situation that they're in. So yeah, that was what I can take from it from the story. As for my reading on Nevernight, I have yet to read anything from Nevernight because I just decided to clean. So I was pretty productive in that area. I did clean my room a lot. I also, um, like 
um, where I keep my pants right now. I forgot the name of that. But like where I keep my working pants, I took them out. Like, I'm pretty sure you can see it because when I use this angle, you can see it. Um, and they're all on top of my bed because there are some that I don't use anymore. And there are others that I use a lot more. And also, um, I'm curvy. So you, your girl, you know, ate a lot and she, you know, she got a little bit more curves. But um, the pants don't fit me like they used to. And I don't like to feel extremely tight you know I, don't, I just don't like feeling that way i like to feel comfy at work especially at my job so i'm going to be either donating them or getting rid of them because if i haven't worn them in a long time then i don't want to wear them also i'm really tall some of them don't fit me the way that i like so that's why i don't really put them on because like i'm tall parecen brinca charco and i'm like mm, no so yeah that's what i did right now what i'm planning on doing is Staying away from my phone because I was scrolling through it for like a good hour. So I'm gonna try and stay away from my phone and I'm just gonna read a little bit of Nevernight. It's going to rain. I hope that it rains and that it clears up the air because there's a lot of pollen in the air. So there's also a lot of shit in the air that's basically affecting me. I have drank three pills since yesterday because I just can't. And my dog isn't feeling all that well. But I'm glad that he's feeling a lot better now. But the air is not helping him get better, you know? So I'm hoping that that. The, you know that helps a lot so i'm hoping that it rains that's all i want some rain so i can actually drink another cup of coffee because that's what i want i'm either between a cup of coffee or tea and also the i had um tofu burrito for lunch it was it was amazing it was, it was just so good man but yeah that's all i wanted to update you on and i'm gonna get a little bit of reading and then i'll see like i'm not gonna finish nevernight today like that's for sure because there's still like 300 pages left and this is taking me a hot minute to get through but um i'll tell you my little progress when i get to it It is 5.36. I'm on page a whopping 108. Read like what? Seven pages? I don't know. I just, I don't want to read anymore. I want to watch movies and sit down and not do anything. That's all I want to do right now, but I'm pulling through. I'm pulling through. Um, anything that I can update you on those roughly seven pages? Um, Mia does know how to make enemies. That's for one thing. Um, she also does have a dirty mouth. I don't remember if I said that, but the woman has a dirty mouth. Um, yeah, I'm starting to get to know 1% of what the Red Church really means. Um, but yeah, I don't have, aside from that, I don't have anything else to say. I know I'm not going to finish this book today. Like, there's no way, no how. I'm trying not to download the audio because, like, I want to physically read it so I can actually pay attention to it because there are moments when i have to go back and read it because i got lost on what page was it i think it was on page 104 yeah on page 104 i got lost there for a minute i was like wait what no not page 104 um page 101 yeah because there's also a testament there that i didn't care about reading so i'm skipping the footnotes because i'm just skipping them um but yeah i think this vlog has turned into me complaining about nevernight i'm gonna stop doing that i'm gonna stop doing that but um that's all i have to say for right now um if i update you later that means that i gave up on the day for reading and i'm just gonna you know end the vlog there but i will update you when i actually do okay so i want to have a quick little reading update on something that i just read and i'm sorry if you hear the fan i just want to say something really quickly um i'm gonna give it to jay kristoff because he has an interesting and unique way of saying i released the breath i didn't know i was holding he says felt her lungs bid her breath farewell <laughs> i'm gonna give it to him excellent just marvelous and also on page 117 we got to see mia's nerdy side and i'm loving that aspect of her like i didn't feel that for her so you know in the library there's a lot of books the descriptions are making my mouth water because i'm like i want to be there also 
I don't know why it's making my mouth water, but it's making my mouth water. Like I want to be in that place in that situation. And she just tells this person that like, don't let me down there. And she's like, why? Because you'll never see me again. And I'm like, oh my God, such a book nerd, such a book nerd. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Now it is 7.46 and I'm going to call it quits on Nevernight. I got up to book two which is iron or glass so that means that i read 120 pages of nevernight so i'm just going to give you a little quick little recap of everything that i managed to read throughout the entire um biannual bibliothon so for the group book which is aurora rising i already had read that so i'm not going to include it in this um reading challenges just because i didn't read it throughout the week of the readathon um but i did love that book i gave it five or five five out of five stars i loved the physical book and the audiobook i think the audiobook also enhances the um book because the mixed media just sounds so incredible and also there's a lot of parts in the story where there are like different intonations of the characters that are being used so i liked how it created that effect so it made it for a very thrilling really amazing reading experience so i highly suggest for you to pick up the audiobook in that one um, because it's very very good um, to read a host five star read for that one I read Every Heart of Doorway and I mentioned my thoughts I gave it two out of five stars it wasn't a fave of mine um, for the adult book which is Nevernight I only got 120 pages in because I'm struggling with that book while I do have to admit that it has moments that are interesting especially now that I'm being more invested in the story it's just taken a lot out of me um, for the graphic novel I read the backstagers and I really did love that one or at least I enjoyed it I, I think I gave it four out of five stars was it or was it three out of five stars i actually don't remember that i gave it four out of five stars yeah which is volume one that i managed to read um then i read um a book based on its cover that one was something strange and deadly by susan denard i gave this one 4.5 out of five stars i love this story i spoke a lot about it but it's a great story to read so i highly suggest for people to pick it up um for free choice slash wild card, that can be obviously any book that I chose. Um, author never read before. For that one, I chose Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, I think it was. And if I'm not mistaken, I gave that one three out of five stars. Um, and Excited But Never Picked Up, I chose Lumberjanes. And while it is an interesting story, it really wasn't for me. I spoke about that one also, but I gave it three out of five stars. And for a five star prediction, I, I had mentioned that I was going to choose Aurora Rising for that one, but since I didn't read it this week, well, I decided not to cheat on that. But um, for 5 out of 5 star prediction, prediction, I think I also had Truly Devious for that one, but I feel like I have a hair in my mouth. Um, but obviously, that didn't happen for that one, so I don't have one for that one. But I think it was a pretty great um, reading week for me, which is something that I wasn't expecting. Having come out of June, having read only three books, I think this is a very, very good part for me you know um i really enjoyed that i got all these books read and i'm going to be participating in another readathon but that's going to be the reading rush but i'm not going to be doing daily vlogging i'm just going to do one vlog for the entire week so yeah that's all i wanted to say i really did enjoy the stay i really enjoyed the books that i read some were better than others but i'm glad that i actually gave all these books a chance because it was something that i really wanted to do so with that being said, I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and or night, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.